Now, Coalition of Small and Medium Timber Association wants the Forestry Commission to address duplication in lumber inspection from sawmills to the market. The Forestry Service Division and Timber Industry Development Division currently perform the same function. The coalition says the situation creates inconveniences for members and transporters on the roads. Coordinator Kofi Afrebwachi accuses officials of the two institutions of exploiting the system to extort money from their members. Prince Apia has more in this report. At a press conference in Kumase, the small and medium timber operators catalogued five challenges to the growth of the timber industry. Coordinator Kofi Afrebwache mentioned in particular scrutiny of documents by Forestry Services Division and Timber Industry Development Division. The mode of uh, monitoring is not the best. If the idea behind it is not just to collect money from uh, those who uh, transport timber on the road, then we should rather be in the forest. Because if the person who is measuring the timber measures it correctly, if the person who is giving conveyance gives it correctly, if the person who is at the sawmill gives proper documentation, then the person who is transporting wood will take the wood safely to his destination. So if you are confiscating timber left, right, and on the highway, and then leaving the wood, the timber to be felt and processed, and then what are you doing? Is it conservation or is it just looking for money? Everybody needs timber, not so. So whether we have it or not, you have to go and look for timber. So that is where, where the illegalities come in. But we, if you have legal timber, like if you can go to any market uh, 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 and get legal timber, who will deal in legalities? So it is also their own fault. They also have to make a, a choice and avenue of getting legal timber. Otherwise, the illegalities will persist. The group also raises issues about the absence of official way bill from the Forestry Commission resulting in rampant confiscation of consignment. We are not comfortable the way our wood is confiscated left, right and center. If it happens that way, then it means we are losing our business. Because every confiscation of timber means a loss of working capital. And if it continues for a long time, what happens? We will be out. And gradually, gradually, everybody will be out of business. So that is our problem. And we are also saying that when the wood is confiscated, I mean, those who originated the documents should also be brought to book. Because in the LI 254, they have provisions for those who falsify documents. Uh, I mean, forest, uh, uh, district forest officers who wrongly measure uh, the, the trees, the diameters and all that, who also do not give out good, uh, proper conveyance. And so if... The, uh, uh, Meanwhile, a new wood tracking system introduced last month as a control intervention and monitoring tool for compliance is under scrutiny. Mr. Febwache wants authorities to organize capacity development to inform the domestic market of its existence. When they were developing the capacity for those for the wood tracking system and training, the domestic market was excluded. It was done for those who transport timber abroad. So, but it will affect everybody. So it's becoming a challenge to us, and because of that, most of our, our consignment of wood are, are confiscated. In fact, we don't have no the kind of documents that we, can, we should even uh, collect from the sawmillers. So it's also becoming a, a challenge. So the coalition calls on the Forestry Commission to streamline structures to strengthen the industry. Prince Apia, reporting.